to watch a couple videos about Elias Buck. Elias Buck, apparently, they call him a Colorado escapee, but this is in New Mexico. Well, let's, uh, let's learn together. There's three videos here. Manhunt underway in the Four Corners area for a 22-year-old Durango. Resident who authorities believe shot and injured a New Mexico police officer during a traffic stop Friday night. Police say Elias Buck was allegedly pulled over for investigation of driving under the influence before allegedly firing at the officer. Buck escaped from the La Plata County Jail on December 27th, and a woman who was with Buck when they were pulled over is being named a person of interest. Authorities warn that Buck is very dangerous. Very dangerous. Okay, so, you know, there's, there's that, right? So, Elias Buck, there's two other videos, I don't... It keeps going back from the one screen to, okay, here we go. One is one minute and 37 seconds. The other one is 57 seconds. Sneak a peek at the new season of Call Me Cat. Cat turns 40. Randy's got a little thing going on. We gotta, we gotta we suffer through this. And Phil is beginning to come into his own. Watch Call Me Cat only on Fox. Good evening. Farmington police are still looking for the man they say shot one of their officers last night. The suspect is no stranger to law enforcement. The suspect in this case we have identified uh, during the course of the evening. He's Elias William Buck. That name may sound familiar to you. Uh, he had several warrants. On Friday, we told you police were looking for Elias Buck after escaping La Plata County Jail on December 27th. Buck was locked up after being arrested back in November. Do you think I'm going to go to jail for a long time? I have no idea. For leading Aztec police on a high-speed chase in a stolen car. <laughs> now, Buck is wanted for shooting a Farmington police officer Friday night. A man who attempted to murder a police officer. Chief Steve Heavy says officers responded to reports of a drunk driver near East Main Street and North Tucker Avenue. When officers arrived, they found Buck walking in the area with Victoria Hernandez. That's when they say Buck shot Officer Joseph Barreto. This case, I, I just can't tell you how angry I am over it. As they continue their search, Chief Heavy has one message for the public. This case is ongoing, and I want to, I want to make this extremely clear. Anyone, anyone that aids or abets in this gentleman and his efforts to flee law enforcement, we will find you, we will prosecute you, and you will go to jail. Chief Heavy says they found the gun Buck used at the scene. He says they're working with New Mexico State Police and Colorado law enforcement agencies to track Buck down. Well, it doesn't sound like he really likes that Elias Buck too much, huh? The Farmington Police Department out of New Mexico posted the following to Facebook on Saturday, January 8, 2022, at 5.20 p.m. Farmington Police are searching for 22-year-old Elias Buck after shooting a Farmington Police officer late last night. Buck is 6 feet 1 inch, approximately 185 pounds, with green eyes and blonde hair. He is dangerous and known to be armed. We ask anyone with information about Buck's whereabouts to immediately contact their local police department or dial 911. We are also searching for a female as a person of interest in this case. Victoria Rossi Hernandez, who is 28 years old, 5 feet 5 inches, approximately 135 pounds, with brown hair and brown eyes. Please call your local police department with any information about Hernandez's whereabouts. So there you go. Farmington. Where's Farmington? I know it's... Wait, Missouri? No, I thought it was New Mexico. Let 
There is a Farmington, New Mexico. It's in San Juan County in the U.S. state of New Mexico. Had a population of 46,000. If we go ahead and just... Uh, it is close to the Colorado border somewhat. It's by the Ute Mountain Indian Reservation, south, central, west. It's by Aztec and Shiprock. It's in between Shiprock and Aztec, actually. That's where it's located. Farmington, New Mexico, south of the Ignacio Southern Ute Indian Reservation, the Ute Mountain Indian Reservation, south of Durango. I think they said he was a Durango man. So what the fuck? It's not a good uh it's not a good representation of Colorado. Y'all can keep them if you find them. And we don't want you back. Lies buck. Stealing cars and shit. Shooting at cops.